One of the most important aspect in any video game, especially the one with combat, is the weapon system. In this video we will discuss how game designers make their weapons stand out. And towards the end I will break down a new super weapon I've been working on for Duck Norris. Behold, the Omega Beam. If you're new here, hi, my name is Moss and we're making a game about a duck saving the world from an alien invasion. I see this issue in many games. The game art looks stunning, but when it comes to the combat, it just falls flat. Sadly, this breaks the immersion and most of the time, the first impression lasts forever. Finding the balance between art and gameplay is something every game developer should invest time into, because when you get it right, the whole game just looks amazing. Cuphead, for example, has this awesome art style, and they managed to make the combat feel very responsive. As a package, it feels complete. We can say the same thing for Hyperlight Drifter and Hollow Knight. Their art direction looks stunning, and you can say the same thing about their combat. It just feels good and spicy. Bottom line, combat is the glue that ties everything together. So when I started working on Duck Norris, I imagined it to be melee centric, but it didn't make sense in the story, because it takes place in the year 2077, and that's when Octaheads invaded the planet. So having guns with mystical technology seems more fitting to the narrative, and it just sounds more fun. So I worked on a gun and set up a basic aim system. I was contemplating on either having full control with the mouse or making it very simple like Cuphead. I tried both and after a week playing around I started to enjoy the feel of having full control with the mouse. It felt more dynamic and opened up the gameplay for more potential. I would be lying to say if it was easy on the get go. I had some moments where the physics didn't make any sense. The final design of the guns is still in progress and I'm at the point where I want the game to feel very fun to play at first. To take it all in, I wanted my basic attack to feel very punchy and juicy. The starter gun shoots laser and I was thinking about adding upgrades later on where you can upgrade the range, damage and cooldown. And same thing for all the other guns. Ultimately I want them to translate back to your playstyle. That brings the question, how does any game stand out and create a unique experience? Every game has a signature look and abilities. Some of these abilities ties the game mechanic and enhance the immersion, like the nail in Hollow Knight. Or you can pogo on enemies and obstacles to help you progress to different areas. Pouring Umbrella, where you have a shotgun that can obliterate anything on the screen, but also it turns into an umbrella so you can jump around and go to different places. And also it can deflect bullets. This shows us that you can have a satisfying fight without having special attacks. But I don't know about you, I find myself enjoying games that have those. For Cuphead, for example, bombarding the boss with everything you got and unleashing that super mega attack makes you feel like an absolute badass. Until you mess your jump and just want to punch your screen. When it comes to special attack, I wanted to bring fun element to it. So meet the baby Krakens. They are alien, but just like ducks, they are attached to the first person they see and form an inseparable bond. I wanted to add something that feels satisfying and add depth and strategy to the game. In the past devlogs, I teased about these two weapons. The laser beam and the deviled eggs. The next kraken is the omega kraken. And I always admired Darkseid from DC Universe. And my favorite move was his omega rays. So I thought how cool it would be if I add that to the game. Even though it looks cool and potentially breaking the laws of physics, this thing looks very tricky to code. So when I started coding it, I thought why don't I just create it as a static sprite and just attack where the cursor is. But this won't make it look any different than the first Kraken. Now looking back at the comics, the rays actually are homing. So this gave me an idea. So I decided to use GameMaker particle system to use instead of a sprite to get a nice trail effect. Now that we have that, time to break down how I wanted to code it. The first step is like I wanted to create a beam that refracts every set time frames. So I basically I set an if statement that changes the beam by 90 degrees randomly every 5 to 10 frames. Now that we have that working, time to add the final break to attack the enemy. So I set a counter to count how many times the beam was broken and change direction. And after a certain number, the beam can choose a random target to attack. Actually, it was simpler than I thought, but breaking it down to two easy steps really helped with the coding process. Otherwise, I would never have done it. And now I have three special attacks and three deadly Krakens in the game. And if you have any cool Kraken ideas, please let me know in the comments below. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far and you're interested in optimizing things and becoming better, I've created a new Discord server for like-minded people who wants to take this journey to the next level, and you can find it in the links below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and a comment. It will really help me with the algorithm and help the channel grow. If you enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy this video as well. Thank you so much, and remember, just take it one day at a time, and I'll see you in the next video.